Hi guys, welcome back to another video of RW Outdoors. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a peanut butter jar birdhouse. I have simple materials that anybody could do. So all we need is a basic peanut butter jar, your lid, I'll show you in a minute, about a foot of string, and a little stick for landing. So now I got the lid here, save time for the video, I've already cut this. All you're going to do is, it should look something like this with your two pieces, just use your scissors and cut across. And then for a bigger hole, I just cut a little notch so there's extra room. And it just sits on there. Okay, so first thing what you're going to do is take your jar, clean all the peanut butter out as you can. So you can see mine's nice and clean. Just use soap and water and rinse it out good. And take your lid. You can put this on there multiple ways by just setting it on there, make sure it's in the groove. Take some tape, or you can use glue, but to save time for this video, I'm just going to be using duct tape. So, once you have that on there, take your stick. I've already drilled a hole for the stick. Just use drill bit or scissors or whatever. Then you'll pry your stick in that hole. So it's like a little landing. And then, like I said, I'm using tape. So I'm just going to put some tape right there. And like I said, you can use hot glue or whatever. So I have two pieces of tape. It should look that, like that, nice and secure. Then that's where the birds go in and out. Then you'll take your string. You'll take your string and then wrap it around the peanut butter jar. And then once it's wrapped around, you're gonna tie just a regular knot on your jar. Just wraps around, just like that, and then tie it a couple times so it doesn't come undone. So just like that, nice and tight on the jar. Tighten it as good as possible. If you have to, just get some. So once you have your string string tied around your bottle, you'll take the very end of it. You can tie this just how we tie our fishing lures. Loop back your string so it's like a little loop and then just knot it. So once you have your loop, just pull that through the hole. Then there's a loop. And there's how to make a peanut butter jar birdhouse. As you can see, there's plenty of room for the bird can adjust the string so it would be about like there and thanks for watching please like and subscribe and thank you